May the 29th, 2024. Guys, we've had another X flare from this returning region now, and it wasn't quite as strong as the one on the 27th, but it's pretty strong, guys, and it almost looks like two explosions right there. There were two signatures, so I think they were, it measured one on the charts, but it was a long one. In other words, um, it la it's lasting a longer time than some of the quick burst. But again, we're right there. I think there were two flares. This is the area that we're watching. This is the colorized magnetogram on the Solar Dynamics Observatory. We're getting the multiple colors now, the blues and red. It's saying that it's a beta gamma uh, configuration as far as magnetically. And now, if you look at the sunspots, the actual areas of the new one right here, they're larger than the actual dark areas at the, in the northern hemisphere of the sun. Again, check out the two there and then these. This one's still larger than that one. And it's in the southern hemisphere that aligns with our planet. Taking a look at SOHO. Now, this is going to give us just a brief section of it because the information from the SOHO movie they have not been downloaded yet but we do have a couple still images check this out this is from the 27th now that's how powerful the first of the returning flares are the second one now we're just getting a little bit of information but I want you to notice what happens at least three comets maybe more plow into the Sun check out the bottom right there and we're going to I'm going to zoom that up and we're going to pause it and look closer at it immediately after at least 3 maybe 4 comet strike that's kind of unusual we see the reaction from the sun as they're approaching it then by the time they impact it they're pulled into the sun that bottom right quadrant a very large explosion it's an electric universe see that now we've seen it before with the larger comets like i sun some of the big ones come in you see CMEs thrown at them. Here's your comets. And uh, then you see large CMEs blasted out and take the tail off the comet, actually. Here's three. I'm thinking there were four. You guys may want to look at it a little closer. But it always reminds me of the fourth angel. How will that happen? How will this angel pour out his bowl upon the sun and cause the heat? That all These comets remind me of that. This is same satellite, different images. The comets are very uh, hard to see here, but if you slow it down, you can see them. But what I'm pointing out is the uh, fact that the movies are not complete yet. Here is the latest from the first one, and now you, the still images are showing. Notice your timestamp, the 29th. It's showing this C, uh, X flare. Also, on the same satellite, different camera you can see it emerging from the left and these are the latest images now one of the older satellites stereo a also picked up the burst notice your timestamp there it is just in front of earth in its orbit so you get very similar images at this point in time that orbit varies here is from we're going to solar ham the x1.4 same sunspot 3697 uh, see right there guys it's a long duration flare. It doesn't rise and drop back quickly. And uh, the no notice 3697 in the bottom right here is a beta gamma configuration. 3691 at the top, beta gamma delta. But that this is all it takes is these two different configurations to have this event. And 30% uh, chance of more X flares. You can see that this time uh, when the flare emerged you had a proton burst which is your CME then you have a photon burst which is 8.2 minutes and notice South America and North America right here a lot of the Atlantic the Caribbean was involved in this global delayer absorption and that causes radio blackouts things like that but guys we're watching if this thing's gonna uh, apparently continue to bring us the X flares as it turns towards Earth it will be um, important to watch that connection. The sun and the earth have a connecting point that is basically a plasma tube. And energy is transferred from that huge plasma tube, which is almost as wide as the planet, every 8.2 minutes. Now, guys, that's a lot of energy every 8.2 minutes. Again, it's called the earth-sun connection. You can look it up. But uh, we're going to have to watch this flare. We're also going to have to pay attention to the Atlantic Ocean. It's warming up very quickly. We know the Great Lakes are. 
and uh, we're just waiting for that change from El Nino to La Nina and that weather pattern, and then the Atlantic is going to be on fire. They're saying this long duration 1.4 solar flare was observed around AR 30 or at uh, 3697 peaking at 1437 UT today. The estimated velocity of the CME involved with it is 870 kilometers per second. And guys, you saw the numbers in the video yesterday, how the sunspots have increased since uh, just in the last five years. And we're in a basically 11.8 year solar cycle. We're halfway through it. They're saying we should peak out in 2025. So we've got a little while to go as far as that uh, happening. You know, it start to reverse down. We've got a lot of things happening on the planet right now. Right now. We're, we know this is the fi generation of the fig tree, the last generation. So what are we dealing with? We're dealing with rapid heating from our sun. We're seeing more and more events, tornadoes that are very huge, larger than ever been. More of them hotter in places than it's ever been. It's just one thing after the other, but everything is leading into the heating effect of the fourth angel. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.